For our next experiment, you will need a glass or a bottle. You can even use a bottle for this. A balloon and a matchbox. So kindly make sure your parents are with you while doing this experiment because we are going to use fire. So shall we begin? I will begin by first inflating the balloon. So inflate it, make sure that it is bigger than the mouth of the bottle or the glass in this case. So make sure the balloon is bigger than the mouth of the glass. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to push this balloon into this glass. It is not possible simply without anything. See, it is too big. It, it won't go inside because it is bigger than the mouth of the glass. So what I'm going to do now is, now I'm going to light a matchstick and put it in the glass. After that, I'm placing the balloon over the glass and see what happens. Can you see what happens under? Can you see the edge of the balloon has moved inside the glass, right? We couldn't do this before, but now when the matchstick is placed inside, the lit matchstick is placed inside, you can see that the end of the balloon has got sucked into the glass. Why did this happen? It is similar to a concept we have learned earlier. Here, when we light the matchstick, you know that for a fire to burn, we need oxygen. When we place the matchstick inside, it uses up all the oxygen in the glass. And when we place the balloon on, on top of it, there is no air supply. So, a vacuum is created inside. We all know that when there is vacuum, it creates a pressure. That pressure pulls the end of the balloon inside the glass. So, this science here is the effect of pressure, vacuum pressure.